Welcome to Horror Square. Our channel is dedicated to sharing spine-chilling and terrifying stories. All the stories presented on Horror Square are works of fiction. They are created for entertainment purposes only and should not be interpreted as real-life events or experiences. Horror Square may explore psychological themes that can evoke fear, anxiety, or discomfort. If you are sensitive to such contents, we recommend avoiding our channel or proceeding with caution to fully enjoy our contents. We encourage suspending disbelief and embracing the atmosphere of horror. Remember that the events and characters depicted are purely fictional and not intended to represent reality. We hope you enjoy our contents responsibly and in the spirit of immersive storytelling. Hello, dear friends. Welcome to Horror Square. I hope you are fine. Our today's story is, Blind Ghost. In order to inform dear listener friends, if any one of you wants to share your story or any spiritual experience, then you can send it through mail. Our mail ID is horrorsquare triple five at the rate gmail.com. So, let's get started. In the hushed embrace of a moonlit night, when the stars shimmered like distant promises and an eerie stillness hung heavy in the air, a blind ghost began its haunting journey through the desolate labyrinth of streets. Shrouded in a spectral mist, it moved with an unsettling grace, its spectral form seemingly unaffected by the earthly bounds that confined the living. Blind and sightless, the ghost existed in a perpetual realm of darkness, forever denied the wondrous tapestry of colors and shapes that had once adorned the world. Yet, in its lack of vision, it possessed an otherworldly sense, an uncanny awareness, that guided its spectral steps, through the forgotten alleyways, and abandoned corners of the town. Its touch, was a harbinger of doom, a frigid caress, that sent shivers down the spines of those unfortunate, enough to feel its icy fingers. A chilling power, radiated from its spectral form, a malevolent energy, that seeped, into the very bones of its victims. Once touched, they became forever tethered to the ghost's cursed existence, their lives ensnared by the relentless torment of its haunting presence. Each tormented soul, marked by the ghost's chilling embrace, found their days plagued by relentless nightmares and unexplainable terrors. Their once joyful lives decayed into a haunting symphony of dread a never-ending spiral into madness and despair. And as time marched inexorably forward, their fate was sealed, a cruel reminder that death would eventually claim them, guided by the spectral entity they had unwittingly crossed paths with. As the blind ghost drifted through the night, its ethereal form intertwining with the moonlight, it whispered a mournful lament that echoed through the empty streets. Its voice, a hollow and mournful wail, carried the weight of countless lost souls, and the agony of a curse, that transcended the boundaries of, life and death. And so, the ghost's haunting march continued, a perpetual game of sorrow and malevolence, a grim reminder of the unseen forces, that lurked beyond the veil of the living world. On that fateful night, unbeknownst to her, Eliza, a young woman with a heart brimming, with dreams and a spirit, untouched by the taint of the supernatural, embarked on a solitary journey through the desolate streets. The flickering street lamps provided little comfort, their feeble light cast eerie shapes that seemed to dance in the corners of her vision. A soft breeze whispered secrets through the rustling leaves, as if nature itself sensed the impending encounter that would forever alter the course of her existence. As Eliza's footsteps echoed against the cold pavement, her breath forming delicate plumes in the frigid air, fate conspired to intertwine her path with that of the blind ghost. Cloaked in a veil of shadows, the ghost moved with an eerie quietness, its form almost imperceptible against the backdrop of the night. A moment of chilling serendipity arrived as Eliza's fingers grazed against the spectral appendage of the blind ghost. The touch, like a transient brush of winter's frost, sent a visceral shiver, coursing through her very being. Her heart, raced as a premonition of dread cascaded, over her senses, a sensation that felt, like a thousand icy fingers creeping along her skin. 
In that fleeting instant, as their touch bridged the gap, between the living and the ethereal, Eliza's world shifted. Her senses heightened, and a foreboding weight, settled over her like a suffocating fog. The truth clawed at her consciousness, the ghost's touch, an omen of doom, had marked her, as its unwitting victim. A quiet gasp escaped her lips, her wide eyes, searching the shadows for an explanation, that eluded her. The world, seemed to hold its breath, the very air charged with an energy, that crackled with the knowledge of what had transpired. With trembling fingers, pressed against her lips, Eliza understood the gravity of her situation. The ghost's touch, was a sentence of impending death, a macabre symphony, that heralded her inevitable descent into the abyss. And so, a fragile dance, between the living and the spectral began, a dance, that would test the limits of courage, and resilience as Eliza's path intertwined, with a destiny dictated by the chilling touch, of the blind ghost. In this bone-chilling moment, a selfless and brave young man, named Johnny, emerged from the obscurity of an adjacent alleyway. His presence, seemed as if it were woven, into the very fabric of the night itself, a beacon of courage, amidst the encroaching darkness. His eyes, possessing a glint of determination, that mirrored the stars above, focused intently on the scene, that unfolded before him. Eliza stood frozen, a portrait of fear etched, onto her features, her heart racing, like the wings of a trapped bird. Her wide eyes met Johnny's, and in that silent exchange, a semblance of understanding passed between them. It was a connection, born of the shared knowledge, that something otherworldly, had entered their lives, something whose malevolence, defied explanation. A flicker of empathy, crossed Johnny's gaze as he comprehended Eliza's plight. He recognized the paralyzing terror, that gripped her heart, the weight of a fate, that was not hers to bear. In that fleeting moment, a decision, was forged in the crucible of his character, he would not allow this blind ghost, to claim another victim. With quiet resolve, Johnny stepped forward, the soft scrape of his boots, against the cobblestones, a testament to his unwavering courage. His approach was steady, and his very presence, was a calming force, that defied the ghost's sinister aura. He stood, between Eliza and the ethereal specter, his body a shield forged, from bravery and compassion. His voice, firm and unwavering, cut through the suffocating tension, that hung in the air like a storm cloud, ready to unleash its fury. Hey! He said his words, were a lifeline in the darkness. Hide behind me. The ghost can only see those it touches, not anyone else nearby. His tone held, an unspoken promise, that he would stand, as an unyielding barrier, between her and the malevolent entity. That sought her demise. Eliza, hesitated for a heartbeat, her breath hitching in her throat. But Johnny's steady gaze and resolute stance, inspired a flicker of hope within her. With a trembling nod, she took a step back, allowing herself, to become enveloped by his protective presence. Her heart still raced, but a newfound strength, began to unfurl within her, like a fragile bud, breaking through the ice of a long frozen winter. In this pivotal moment, as the blind ghost's attention, remained fixated on Johnny, a partnership forged, in the crucible of adversity blossomed between them. With the weight of the situation, clear in their minds, they united, against the spectral force, that threatened to unravel their world, a beacon of unity, amidst the chaos of the unknown. As Eliza's fingers, tightened around Johnny's arm, a lifeline amidst the storm of uncertainty, she could feel, his warmth radiating, through the fabric of his jacket. It was a stark contrast to the icy tendrils of fear, that had been clutching at her heart, just moments before. She pressed herself against him, her heart pounding in tandem, with the rhythm of his steady breaths. Across the ethereal veil, that separated the living, from the spectral, the blind ghost extended its ghostly fingers, like tendrils of mist, reaching out from the void. 
Its sightless gaze was locked onto the form of the man who stood resolute before it, an obstacle to its malevolent intent. The very air seemed to thicken as the ghost's cold, phantom touch brushed against Johnny's outstretched hand. In a moment that hung in liminal space, Johnny's plan materialized with chilling clarity. The ghost's touch could only unveil the one it made contact with. As its spectral fingers came into contact with Johnny's skin, the air seemed to tremble with an otherworldly energy. Eliza's breath caught in her throat, and her heartbeat had a chaotic cadence that threatened to drown out all else. And then, as if the universe itself were holding its breath, the truth unfolded. The ghost sight, confined to the man who stood as a bulwark of protection, unveiled only Johnny. Eliza's form remained shrouded in the cocoon of Johnny's bravery, her presence hidden from the spectral entity's ethereal gaze. Undaunted by the ghost's futile attempt to pierce the veil of its own curse, Johnny's arms enveloped Eliza in a protective embrace. With a strength that seemed to defy the weight of the world, he lifted her from the ground and began to walk away from the cursed specter. Each step they took was a testament to his unwavering determination, a silent declaration that he would not falter in the face of malevolence. The blind ghost, driven by a desperate hunger to fulfill its cursed destiny, followed the only sight it had, the indomitable figure of Johnny. Its efforts grew more frenzied, creating a storm of ethereal fury that swirled around them. Yet, with every step Johnny took, the ghost's hold on Eliza weakened, its power eroding like fragile sandcastles under the relentless assault of the tide. And then, as the first tendrils of dawn's light painted the horizon, the blind ghost's relentless pursuit faltered. Like a wisp of smoke, carried away by the wind, its presence waned, its power reduced to mere echoes, that whispered through the dissipating darkness. In the final moments of their harrowing escape, Johnny's unwavering resolve, held strong until the blind ghost, stripped of its malevolent strength, dissolved into the shadows from whence it had come. As the last vestiges of the spectral presence faded away, Eliza's breaths came in ragged gasps, her heart slowly finding its way back to a steady rhythm. Her eyes met Johnny's gratitude and awe reflecting in their depths. In the crucible of that night, their bond had been forged, a testament to the resilience of the human spirit, in the face of unfathomable horrors and the power of selflessness to triumph over even the most haunting of curses. Thank you for watching the video. Please don't forget to let us know how you liked today's story by leaving a comment. And if you enjoyed the story, please like and share it. Also, subscribe to our channel by clicking the bell icon next to it and turning on the notification option. But for now, goodbye, and see you in the next video, thank you take care, tata.